In this video, you will learn the typical problems with most meetings and what is an effective meeting. Let's start with the typical problems. I think we've all been in a meeting probably in the last week. We kind of came out of it thinking like, hmm, that wasn't the best use of my time or that wasn't that effective. The stats today tell us that only 50% of the time we spend in meetings is considered effective. That means half the time we're spending in meetings, we don't feel like we're adding any value. And along those lines, at least in the U.S., $37 billion is spent on bad meetings. So bad meetings are rampant in society today. And for us, there's actually 10 core areas that we think bad meetings fall into. We, we essentially call it bad meeting bingo. And for us, there's a couple of these that really resonate out there, specifically areas like focus. Do meetings have fluid borders? Do you really have no purpose coming in? Do you just show up and you're like, so what are we talking about today? Things like loops. Do we have like this Groundhog's Day feeling where we just kind of keep going back to the same topic over and over again? Oh, we talked about this last time. We're going to talk about it again. Even things like readiness and not just on you, the facilitators part, but on your participants. Are we coming into the meeting ready to have this meeting? Have we done the pre-work? Have we actually come in prepared to actually have a good conversation? And ultimately, one of the worst problems out there is results. Do we leave a meeting not making any decisions, not coming to any kind of conclusion on how we want to move forward? Do we not hit an outcome? So for us, these are some of those core areas why meetings may not be as effective as they could be. So what is an effective meeting then? And what makes it effective? So for us, there's a couple things that kind of go into an effective meeting. They, one, they need to have a pre-established goal. What is it that we're trying to accomplish? Two, they provide value to the people who are attending that meeting. It actually has, there's an outcome we're going for that people feel like this was a good use of my time. And finally, all participants are engaged and they actually leave feeling like, hey, I actually got value out of this. This was a good use of my time. Ultimately, it comes down to my favorite word, intent. Effective meetings are actually created and run intentfully. I like to think about this as a sort of a Venn diagram, but around business outcomes and cultural outcomes. What are the things you're trying to achieve around those spaces? And typically meetings are built around those. When we think of our business outcomes, we think about things like, is the intent of this meeting to impact a desired outcome? Are we actually trying to make a change happen? Maybe we wanna produce actionable information. We wanna go into a meeting and come out with stuff that we can make decisions on, or we've actually made a decision on. And ultimately, we may even want to provide visibility to leadership on how things are going, or maybe we want to get visibility with leadership to show off some of the great things we're doing. Then there's the cultural outcomes we need to think about. Things like, are we holding this meeting because it's a critical touch point in an async world for our team? How do we prevent things like the lone wolf syndrome where people don't feel so isolated and, and disengaged from their world? Is this meeting in place to help us rapidly accelerate on some sort of idea as a team? Or maybe the intent of this meeting is to help us leverage the wisdom of crowds. How do we help bring about this diverse set of experience and knowledge to create something better than any one of us can do ourselves? Understanding the intent of an effective meeting is about balancing this business outcome with this cultural outcome. Ultimately, in the end, we want to achieve both. And that allows both you and your participants to get the most out of your time together.